All right. Hello and welcome, everyone, to another Why Would You Use. So today we are going to be talking about the Kuva Czar. This weapon, as a forewarning in two directions, actually, is both bugged to not do as much damage as it should and also is probably strong enough to get nerfed. So, fair warning at the top here, uh, the Kuvazar is absolutely gross. This weapon is incredible, and that is to be expected. The regular Czar definitely had its heyday, and this is just a really, really souped up version of the regular Czar that has access to all of the new tools that we recently got in the Sisters of Parvos update, uh, and that's great. So, full build on this weapon, well, full build and then some, uh, is three forma, as we can see here, and we are not using serration, which is going to be the norm, outside of if you're going to give this weapon to Wukong, his clone will need serration, and you're going to want to use serration instead of galvanized aptitude, if you're going to use this weapon with Wukong, so that his clone can, like, clear rooms and do the whole do, and that's because Wukong's clone cannot stack up this uh, on-kill bonus, this on kill bonus or your arcanes of any variety so just to get that out of the way real quick otherwise this build has technically two variations also worth noting uh this kuvazar uh is a radiation kuvazar so i do have like an extra status here but the part that's not working with this is that this is a projectile based weapon outside of the secondary fire where this totally does work um and the damage per status type affecting the target for 20 seconds uh that whole part of galvanized aptitude is not functioning for the cannon uh so you have a like another usually 200 percent ish um damage that you're not getting on the main fire mode of this weapon which is the cannon also worth noting uh if you are running non-steel path lower levels or even if you are just not doing uh like a survival on steel path i would highly highly recommend instead of thermite rounds you run primed firestorm because this is less damage and it is one less status for the purposes of galvanized aptitude whenever that is fixed of course but the radius increase that you get with this is pretty disgusting and this weapon is so strong that at lower levels if you're bringing this into the regular star chart it is going to absolutely obliterate anything that it touches and that it doesn't even really need hunter munitions in regular star chart things are just there things are just going to die things just are going to evaporate they're going to cease to exist it's going to be a problem for all enemies involved uh, with any kind of a radius that this thing is firing at. So that stuff uh, is very much worth noting here. Prime Firestorm, very, very good right now uh, in any kind of a regular piece of content. Also worth noting, uh, if you are using a Warframe that is going to buff your damage significantly like Rhino, fuck a Thermite Rounds. So you're not going to need it. Uh, just go Prime Firestorm to hit more enemies because your damage is going to be a million percent fine. Are you Chroma? Don't. Thermite Rounds, skip it. Go Prime Firestorm. Are you Mirage? Haha, <laughs> hilarious that you wouldn't go Prime Firestorm. Definitely do that. There's a million different scenarios where Prime Forest Firestorm is definitely going to be correct over Thermite Rounds, but just for generally just using the Kuvazar, especially if you need to keep up kills in like a survival, which we're going to be showing at the end of this video, this is what I would generally suggest. Uh, over 100% status on the Cannon Fire. Just It's just, just disgusting stuff. The stats on this weapon are so outrageous. Uh, you just have so much. You just, just so much just ridiculous and then the barrage part of this is also really really important so you know how we got that brand new kuva heck right well the kuva heck we'll talk about in another video but suffice it to say that that weapon does a considerable amount of damage this barrage is basically just slapping a kuva heck onto a giant aoe death cannon and you can just switch to it at your leisure which turns out is very very effective uh so yeah the kuvas are hilarious disgusting gross uh one thing i will say as a kind of option select if you feel like this weapon reloads too slow oh wait no sorry no that's sorry, that's the i'm thinking of the the kuva heck the kuva heck can use chilling reload we don't have access to that on the kuva czar which is easy to confuse because the barrage is basically a kuva heck and it's a it's a shotgun so it's weird that this is considered to be a rifle this weapon would actually be even more ridiculous were it actually considered a shotgun because you'd have access to way more powerful mods uh were that the case but yeah this weapon is just it's just nonsense it's just unnecessary like if we if we saw it back in the day back in the day whenever the kuva brahma got nerfed right a lot of us were like oh that didn't really seem necessary but the kuva brahma is still good right this is like the kuva brahma took crack cocaine 
like in every orifice at once. This weapon is nonsense. Just looking at like the history of like the Kuva Brahma getting nerfed and stuff. This weapon is nutty. We are going to be showing this test against 20 Exo Gokstat officers at level 180. These, this variety, this group of enemies cannot actually spawn in game. They just have a high enough amount of health that it can really give you a perspective on how much damage this weapon does. So yeah, we are going to roll this as the test, not like kind of our traditional test. And then of course there will be the 20 minute survival where I pretty much only utilize the Kuvazar uh, during the entire thing. This weapon is incredible at killing acolytes. It's incredible at really killing just anything, including but not limited to Sisters of Parvos and Liches because the shotgun form just ruins their lives. So yeah, let's just show this. Uh, remember that this is starting from zero stacks and generally uh, you are going to stack up pretty quickly just through like hunter munitions and stuff and have the uh, stacks up in the top corner that you can see there for primary merciless. And as we get into the top end of stacks, uh, you can see that this weapon can chew through these heavily, heavily armored uh, targets super, super simply. And part of that is because, of course, um, they spawn their turrets, which are a little bit easier to kill, which allows me to stack up. But I think that simulates well uh, what you're going to get in, like, the steel path and stuff, because you're still going to have butchers and other regular, like, lower level enemies to uh, fight against. But yeah, weapon is, um, weapon is nasty. It is outrageous i will say you do of course because this weapon is an explosive you do want prime sure footed for yourself uh if you are going to be using this weapon in the event that you don't have a prime sure footed though i will actually say that because this is a kuva weapon and you can get so many extra points just by forming it a little bit a uh, cautious shot instead of vigilante supplies not a terrible option uh if you're only going to be using the kuva czar as like your primary source of damage and you're not bringing anything else to dps you're really going to want the vigilante supplies obviously because you will run out of ammo uh, but if this is just like a supplemental weapon for your kit or if you're using it uh with a buff warframe that's going to get a lot of kills per shot uh and much more than you would even normally get you know with your 200 plus damage bonuses and all this nonsense uh cautious shot totally a good option for reducing those staggers obviously with a lot of warframes though like say if you were going to bring this with rhino he's not going to have stumble problems anyway so yeah vigilante supplies very very good also gives us a little bit of a damage bump because that five percent chance to enhance critical hits for primary weapons because the cannons explode and hit multiple times uh this is actually a bit more of a damage bump than you might imagine uh but yeah that's the kuvazar hopefully you guys enjoy the 20 minute survival uh it is of course with gara here where i'll, I'll show her build real quick it's just, kind of just a, a generic like just survive type build that i've, I've thrown prime sure footed into uh, very very basic stuff super like hyper basic build for for guard just to survive things uh and not really give the kuvazar any like weird bonuses although there is a point in the um survival where i do use gara's two on an acolyte out of habit that does give me a damage bonus against them i think it's the last acolyte that i fight and that acolyte gets absolutely hilariously melted so you, maybe you can use that to get a little bit of a gauge on if you're using a damage buff uh because don't forget everyone gara's two is a damage buff and that needed to be a thing uh but yeah this weapon's outrageous I uh, yeah, <laughs> there's definitely a world where I can see this weapon in particular getting nerfed because it is just so good. Anyway, enjoy the survival. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.